Fine line tattoos are getting crazy popular. Year after year, they get more and more popular. And if you want to know how to judge how well a tattoo artist does on fine line, or maybe you just want to know how well your artist did on fine line, you're going to want to stick around for this one. I'm going to give you some inside info here. All right, here we go. This tattoo was sent in by Maya, and she is out of Tel Aviv, Israel. And the artist that did it goes by the name of Nikita. You can find him right there on Instagram. He does some phenomenal, beautiful tattoo work. I was absolutely stunned by his portfolio. If you want to find him, he's working at John Boy Tattoo right there in Tel Aviv. Now, honestly, going through his portfolio, I didn't see a lot of fine line art. I did see some small detail stuff in some of his larger pieces and just a few random small fine line tattoos here and there. But you guys, it's very important that when you're looking for a fine line tattoo artist, you find one that does it daily, that does it very frequently. And I'm gonna tell you why here in a minute. Now let's break it down. So. Right off the bat, I gotta say, uh, this is a really kind of clean, simple design, and I think that's what Maya wanted. She, she expressed to me she was very happy with her tattoo, and so I don't want to really nitpick and really dive in on a lot of errors here. I think the design is, for what she wanted, it's nice and clean. The artist did a good job on these curls here. Those are not easy to do, stay steady and smooth throughout, so all of us artists know whenever we add this filigree type of design to any tattoo, uh, yeah, you're in for a little bit of sweat and bullets there while you come around those curls and these perfectly straight lines. Now, I think he did great on those, but I'm not a big fan of this ear on this baby line. I think it looks a little whack. Um, also, the whiskers. I don't like how these whiskers flow so perfectly straight. If you've ever seen a realistic line, they don't flow that perfectly straight. So something looks a little unnatural about those whiskers to me. Um, also, some of this detail is very faint, like the bottom of the chin there. Some of that sort of definition, where the top of the head, it looks a lot darker, but the definition on the jaw looks a lot thinner. And so, uh, there's just little things that I would nitpick and maybe change about this. But for the design, I think I would rate it a 6 out of 10. There's nothing really wrong with it. Um, I think, you know, maybe again, the eyes look a little bit weird and strange, but that's partially because it's it's simplified. It's intended to look very simple and clean and minimalist. So I can't really dock points for that. But for the design, I give it a six out of 10 because it's not mind blowing, but there's also nothing really wrong with it either. Uh, now, if we're gonna judge the line work, how well the artist did, you know we gotta see the healed version because this is what's important with fine line, you guys. Any artist can, uh, any decent artist can get this tattoo to look this way, but when it's healed two weeks later, two months later, how smooth do those lines look? And that's why I emphasize you want to find an artist that does this every day because they want that muscle memory built in. You want them to very cleanly, simply, and smoothly tattoo this thing uh, with a lot of consistency. And that is the name of the game when it comes to fine line. And here's some good examples. Up here you see how bold these lines are. In fact, there's a little bit of uh, blurring there, maybe a little bit of blowout. That's really normal when you're putting a lot of small detail close together, you get this sort of blurring. Like in this negative area right here in the point, you see that blurring, that's, that's a blowout. And that's uh, very common when you're doing a lot of detail tight together like that, especially solid black detail. Uh, it's bound to get that sort of blurring effect. But if we look at the bottom here, we can see some of those lines came out fainter. They're a lot lighter and thinner looking. Now that, again, it just goes to consistency. You want an artist that not only can draw the, the line nice and smooth and straight, but you gotta keep in mind that whole time, they have to keep the same depth. Every needle puncture needs to be at the same depth and at the same angle. Otherwise, you're gonna get little light spots like this here and there, or spots where it gets darker, like up in here. So just be very weary of that. Find an artist that does it frequently. Um, for the line work here, I think he did a pretty good job. Um, it's not so bad. There's a little bit of blurring, like I said, it's expected. A little bit of faint lines here where he didn't get it deep enough, or the angle maybe changed on his hand when he was applying it. So the consistency is a little bit off, but overall, I think it's not so bad. For the line work, I'm gonna give it a six and a half out of 10. And uh, the only other things I comment on is the white highlights here. You see how bright they look in this edited photo, uh, but then when we go back, those white light highlights are pretty non-existent and again with the bottom of the chin there look how faint that looks after it heals okay so some of those uh, light little dotted edges where he's trying to create a little furry look that's really really small detail not much ink getting into the skin there so that's again something you got to think about if you're getting a fine line tattoo you need an artist and you want an artist that does it every day they've been doing it for a long time and they post their heel to work that's some of the most important uh, aspects you can look for if you're gonna get a fine line tattoo overall I think I would rate this one a six and a half out of ten I think um, it's pretty obvious that Nikita is a phenomenal tattooer but um, you know if they don't do that fine line day in and day out uh, then yeah those little inconsistencies are bound to happen uh, in anybody's fine line tattoo so I think six and a half out of ten let me know how you guys would rate this one in the comments down below otherwise uh, if you want your tattoo rated just send it in all right see you in the next one bye bye